Hi friends, welcome to another photo walk video. In this one, I approach some friendly strangers eating ice cream. I revisit a statue I went to in the past. Now with evening light, I go to a romantic overlook. And also last Thursday, I edited the photos for this video on a live stream. Links below, enjoy. Hi friends, welcome back to the town of Provo, Utah. It is a eh, medium sized town, if you will, or maybe a, a very tiny city and I'm gonna take some photos and see what I can do. I tried to tilt the GoPro up a bit more for this one. I noticed in the last one it was tilted too far down. I noticed that the horizon line was on the upper third in the last one. I want it to be kind of right in the middle. Wasn't ready. If you guys watched my previous videos in this town, you may know that it's a very colorful place, which is one of the things I like so much about it. Manual, ISO 100, F4. One five hundredth of a second. For those of you who are curious, I'm shooting with the uh, 50 millimeter f1.8 today on an A6400. There's more light on this side of the road, so there may be more serendipity for me on this side of the road. It's around dinner time. Uh, last time I came here, it was not dinner time. And there are a lot more people out than last time. So dinner time is a good time. These people behind me are walking almost as fast as me. It's hard to do. Good, how are you? Good. Good. Do you need some help getting in the picture yourself? No, no, I'm okay. I don't need to be in a picture, but thank you. What, are you just, just taking pictures here? Yeah, I'm a street photographer. Oh. So yeah, I take photos of interesting people that I find around. Oh, cool. Yeah, so if uh, so, a lot of times I'll have, like if somebody were to walk past this giant lovely chicken here, uh -huh. I would like, I would take a photo of them with that and kind of oh. juxtapose it together and make for a compelling photo. Oh, cool. Yeah. Did you say you're a student photographer? No, street photographer. Street photographer. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so I just I just share them on Instagram. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that became a 30-minute conversation. <laughs> He's a very kind guy. We actually spoke about our faiths. I'm a Christian, and he is LDS, uh, which, yeah, there's a huge LDS population around here. So we got into a a, a lovely conversation about our fates. On second thought, I've switched to my 24 to 70. Um, I want some more versatility this evening. So, two videos ago, I think it was, I was standing in front of this sculpture at this very spot. Now I'm back. It has some very interesting light on it. I'm gonna see what I can do. <laughs> this might be good. But, hey, excuse me guys, yeah. quick question. Yeah. So I'm a photographer, I take photos of interesting people that I meet. Um, and I thought you guys were pretty interesting just hanging out. We are so interesting. In incredibly. <laughs> uh, so I was just wondering if I could get a couple of photos of you guys doing your thing. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Pretend we like really good eating ice cream. I, I, I mean, I thought so. <laughs> um, so yeah, you pretend like I'm not here. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I got my ISO. Oh, sorry. Is there anything specific you like want us to like we do, I guess. Are you guys smiling and laughing and talking to each other? It's actually really fun to watch. So, we you're good. He's a really good dancer. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that's a I'm down. I'm down. Let's diversify. I mean, if you can do a backflip, he can dance, whatever. Oh, I could probably jump off the pole and break my neck. <laughs> I mean, if we get it on, yeah, if we get the photo, <laughs> you know? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Keep moving around. Yeah. Do your thing. Is this, for like, is this what you do? Yeah, I just share them on Instagram. Oh, yeah, no. I'm a street photographer. Right. That's yeah. Sweet, man. Yeah, and I'll, I'll get I'll sh um, share my Instagram yeah. with you guys. You can oh, check you it out. Um, I've been doing it for street photography consistently, probably two to four years. I'm really bad with dates. I've been doing photography for probably 11 years now ish and then um i was into filmmaking before that and then i realized that photography is a really good way to tell a quick story whereas filmmaking takes takes a, takes a lot of work takes a lot of narrative building and a lot of uh you know oftentimes you have to work with a lot of other people whereas this can be a solo pursuit tons of like 
file organization, that sort of thing, which I enjoy. But um, but yeah, tons of that kind of stuff to keep up with. And you know, to make a good video, you have to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. With a photo, you just have to have a moment. Yeah. Right. And so I enjoy that part. Have you ever had a street photographer ask take a picture of you? I Get think. Off my territory. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just punch him in the face. <laughs> uh, one of my good friends from the town I used to uh, live in, he was a street photographer. Him and his friend walked up to me. And one of them, uh, his friend asked me if he could take my photo. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, this is what I do, right? But the guy who was with him ended up being a really close friend. And he's, right. a, he's a street fashion photographer. Really? And he's, he's like super talented. So does he look for like certain types of fashion that he like wants? Or yeah, well, or I, I should say at this point, he started to move more into the realm of, um, he does a lot of really interesting studio work uh -huh. on like environmental portraits. But when I met him, he was, he would find people who you know dressed interestingly and things like that he's sort of uh he would use a longer lens so it created a more romanticized look as opposed to a more raw kind of yeah. look a lot of street photographers go for the raw look where they have this like really wide lens and they'll yeah. be all in your face and stuff he had this this long lens and a really polished look and uh he would just find these interesting people with like crazy glasses and that sort of yeah. thing cool. he had a great eye for style um, and you know, great eye photography. And now he's just, he, he's so good with lighting and like actually put like um, building sets with lighting and that sort of thing. And it just makes me sick. He's so good. So, That's so cool. yeah, it's pretty cool. I love finding like little interactions and that's what you guys are doing, which I think is interesting. How do you guys know each other? Um, we actually met through mutual friends. Okay. So, yeah. I accidentally hit him in the frisbee with a head, or in the head with a frisbee. You threw a head at his frisbee? It worked. That sounds, that's beautiful. Yeah. Are you guys just friends or are you guys like a thing? Just been dating a little bit. Okay, dating yeah. a little bit. All right, that's cool. Yeah. But can you take one more scoop of hers like while she holds it again? Yeah. I thought that was really interesting. Get a good scoop. <laughs> Get a good scoop. Passionate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. So if you guys want to find me on Instagram, um, just look up James Red with two D's and top one right there. Perfect. That's me. Uh, you got my follow. All right. Here we go. Well, thank, thank you. you guys so much. If I got any uh, keepers, I think I probably did. If I got any keepers, uh, you'll see them on there soon. Awesome. Thank you. Right. Thank yeah. Thank you guys. Have a good one. That was rad. Once again, a great example of how much more interesting photos can get potentially if somebody's actually doing something in them as opposed to just like a portrait. Not the portraits are great. I was waiting around for what well, felt like forever for a laugh from one of them. And right at the end, got a good laugh out of him. Okay, I got this shot one of the last times I was here, but the lighting is much different and the little, what do you, uh, what do you call those lights? Those lights are on, whereas they weren't on before. Hipster hangy lights. There we go. All right, back to the sculpture for a moment. Yeah. Heck yeah. Thanks again. That's the smallest dog I've ever seen in my life.
to the top of a mountain where people look out over the valley here. Very beautiful view. People like to make out up here. It's a bit of a gamble. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get, especially uh, this late in the evening. It There might still be people hanging out up here. I don't, I don't know if the sun has gone down behind the other mountains yet. So um, it's it could yield some really fun results, but I'm not sure. There's a part of me that's hesitant, but I'm gonna go for it and see what I can swing. It takes so long to get up here. It's curve after curve after curve. Okay, I think we got some some activity up here. All right, here we are. So the sun has gone behind the mountains. The light is still quite pretty. A little chilly. Won't be up here too long. <laughs> it's just like this insane power crouch. People probably think I'm taking photos of the landscape, so it's probably odd to see such an aggressive movement from a photographer. Can I take a picture of you guys? Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. Aww. I figured your arms might not be long yeah, enough. Yeah, my arms are definitely not That's long really enough. nice. Of course. All right, three, two, one. And one more, three, two, one. So you guys can look at it and see if you like it. Absolutely. Is it good? Okay, great. All right, you bet. You guys have a good night. What was that? I'm okay, thank you. I do appreciate it. That'll do. Okay, that is it. Now I want to talk about the photos I took at the statue. This is a great example of doing something I like to call regathering and returning. And this it means when your conditions are not quite right when you're there the first time, step away, go somewhere else, do something else, uh, focus on some other spots that maybe have better conditions for you, regather in your mind, think about it later, and then return at a better time. And in this case, it paid off and I had plans for shots that I wanted to get that I didn't get the first time that I wanted that I could get this time and I did get them. Oftentimes street photos require you to be patient, play slow game, take your time and the time of day that you're there plays a huge role in what sort of results that you're going to get. Now these photos came about through the power of hovering. I had more time with them because I asked them if I could take their photo. I could get into their bubble. I could, I could uh, wait for them to give me expressions that I'm after. If it's a split second, you'll get serendipity sometimes, absolutely, but you are creating serendipity for yourself by asking them, by, by um, putting yourself in a position where you are able to have a more personal long-term experience with them. You can also direct them a bit. If you remember, I said, hey, could you guys share that ice cream one more time? I missed that. And in that case, uh, we had a lovely laughing photo come out of that as they were sharing, which was one of the things that I was after, was some sort of dramatic facial expression, uh, perhaps of joy. Now, one of the powers of going up to the Overlook is it is a place where unique social interactions 
occur. In this case, we had a place where lovers gather. And also, uh, they're going to be less likely to be staring at their phones because they have this this view to enjoy and, and maybe even take pictures of with their cell phone. But even that's a bit more interesting than just looking down at your cell phone. And generally, people will interact with each other more in that case. And once again, uh, in a bit more of a romantic fashion at times. And also, families going up there with their kids. We had the dad with the kid on his shoulder, which is something I love. I love that shot. Uh, so in this case, it really paid off. Sometimes if you keep returning to the same spot, you're going to get the same results. So if you get irritated because everybody's looking down, looking down at their phone while sitting on the bench waiting for the train, that's because th that sort of uh, environment creates that sort of response in people. So go to environments that create different responses in people. Okay, that's it for this one. Anything to add, wife? I haven't listened to anything that you've been saying, so probably not. Okay, great. Um, if you like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that. Uh, only if you enjoy what I'm up to here. And other than that, be healthy. Have a good day. Goodbye.